Okay, all right, it's March uh, 2nd, uh, 2021. I heard a word from the Holy Ghost. Uh, so right now when it's fresh, I'm going to record it, capture it. Maybe we'll work more on it, but whatever. So um, anyway, he just said, uh, he said those, uh, those barriers and walls that uh, the enemy people, the devil's people, the Democrats, the demon craps, and they're, they're socialist, communist, antichrist, evil people, the wicked Democrats, the, the betrayers, the, um, the traitors, the betrayers, the betrayers of America, the betrayers of Jesus Christ, <clears throat> the antichrist people, those Democrats in America. Um, and they're lying and they're stealing and they're cheating and spitting in your face. Anyway, the, the, the walls they put up, um, uh, what, uh, after... Uh, after uh, January 6th, right in there, especially for the fake uh, lying false inauguration, so-called, for the um, traitor, liar, <clears throat> and their puppet. And so anyway, um, those walls and barriers, there, there's several, you know, but anyway, you can see it, news and internet, and, and then there's some, some uh, guards. <clears throat> anyway, the Holy Spirit said that that wall in the natural realm is revealing what the Democrats and all their occultism from their witchcraft, their occult, their high-level occultism from abortion and shedding innocent blood and rituals and the things that Hillary Clinton and Podesta were doing there with their satanic rituals. They got caught, but uh, they didn't get yet, not yet, um, dealt with. God will deal with it. Thank God there's a hell one day for those type of people. Um, and so, um, and their, uh, you know, their uh, occultism, um, um, their, um, Freemasonry, witchcraft, occultism, anyway, all their wickedness of, of getting help from the demon realm. We'll just say it like that. The Democrats do some do knowingly, some unknowingly, um, the higher up ones do it knowingly. God curse you, rebuke you, God killeth and maketh alive. There's the goodness and the severity of God. God's revealing in this time and season, he's it's switching over into full capacity of the severity of God, the judgments of God. Jesus with a sword coming out of his mouth and a rod of iron and fire, of the fire of judgment fire hit. All the ungodly evil people in the United States of America, especially in authority positions, uh, you, you ungodly, you wicked, um, the, you, you disobey, you rebellious, disobey the law of the land and the laws of, um, God, of course, number first and foremost, uh, I decree that even laws of the land will be changed to line up and obey God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Yahweh, Yeshua, Holy Ghost, the, the laws of God, the laws of the Bible, the law of God, <clears throat> the laws of the land will change. And line up to please God. I curse wicked laws, wicked authorities, wicked, um, yeah, people, weak, even ungodly people in authority be replaced and removed. In the name of Jesus, be judged. Uh, if you don't repent, God killeth and he maketh alive. He, he, he wounds and he heals. Look at this about God. I've been given that word. It's been just coming up out of my spirit for months and months. It is the word of the Lord. And I saw this uh, great preacher over there in Africa saying the same thing. I said, I already knew it, but there was a great, huge confirmation. And you religious idiot preachers in America that, that, can't, um, that won't accept it or you rebel against God, you think you're better than God, you think you're some nice whatever, um, hell is just the judgments of God when God kills, when he wounds, when he humiliates and rubs dung on the face, it said, when he uh, uh, kills Herod one, Herod two, Ananias and Sapphira, on and on. When he uh, dis destroys uh, uh, Saul and um, um, uh, the, 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 every evildoer, Ahab, Jezebel, so forth, whatever. That is just. God is just. Hell is just. God is better and smarter than you. Okay. And so Jesus said over there, he killed them people over there in the church, Revelation 2 and 3, and he put some on the sick bed, and he killed some of them people that persisted in sin and wickedness and rebellion and abominations that were leavened and contaminating and hindering God's purpose for his people. And all you wicked people, especially in authority, to whom much is given, much is required. 
uh, you, you desire to be a leader, a teacher, or what, even in government or whatever, you shall receive a stricter judgment. You ought to fear. But the evil people, the Democrats and the fake Republicans, that they just want positions of authority and leadership for their own gain, to uh, uh, steal the money from the cookie jar and so forth and so forth, and abuse and all that. that God killeth and he maketh alive. The judgment of God, I, we release it, we loose it on you, we command you mountains to be removed. Anyway, back to my point. So these um, Democrats... Uh, for years, especially from Obama uh, years, those demonic walls uh, in the spirit realm, uh, many things working together. The occult things, the witchcraft stuff, and the Freemason stuff that's been in D.C. for years, uh, working together to make these walls in the spirit world, and that's how these people were hiding and not getting caught. How there was so much corruption and law enforcement blocked from uh, catching and you know, dealing with these people according to the law, whether they need jail or death penalty, so forth and so on, as the law says, especially the law of God. And they were able to hide and uh, bribe or fake their way out of these things. But these are walls in the spirit world. They, they were hiding in behind these um, structures and strongholds and walled cities. The Bible says to Moses and Joshua, you go in there, there's walled cities of the enemies. These are devilish walls. You got to tear it down, as the Lord shows you with warfare, uh, 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 spiritual warfare. You got to learn it. You got to learn to de decree uh, the, the 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 war weapons of God, the the destruction, the judgments of God on the evil people, so that there can be salvation, or else the Democrats are going to keep um, doing such wickedness, and not not just sins, but abomination. You know, wickedness. So that God is forced to judge America and, and, and he has to allow the enemy to come in more and more and more. That's the, um, uh, what was it talking about? The, uh, the uh, doctrine of Balaam, where he, an uh, evil leader, gets the people to sin so much that even God has to curse them. So they're getting hit from hell on this side and then on this, this side over here, even God has to curse them or allow the enemy to wipe them out. And so we have to stop that. He says, I don't want you, in Revelation 2 or 3, I don't want you to tolerate that teaching of the doctrine of Balaam and so forth, which, um, and, and it goes with the, the Jezebel, Baal, Astroth, Ahab. And so God killeth. In uh, the name of Jesus, speak it. Speak to the mountains, be removed. Speak to the, every tree that's rooted, that's evil and ungodly, be plucked up. And um, so... Learn the warfare to tear down the walls, spiritual, demon, the demonic walls that are protecting evil people and the evil destructive laws and practices and abominations that are being enacted by the Democrats and the fake Republicans. And and um, I guess the, the enemy told even Jesus, hey, if, if you compromise, you fall down and obey the enemy, he'll give you all this stuff. So, of course, the Democrats are doing it. Uh, Romney and the fake Republicans and other ones are doing it too, but they're going to get caught. God killeth in the name of Jesus. God killeth Yahweh, Yahovah, uh, the Lord of hosts killeth and he makes alive. He, he, he wounds and he heals. He puts down, he raises up. And uh, so you're going to start to see the severity of God more and more. And uh, you Christians better get out of your religious deception and doctrines of demons that said, oh, God loves, God's mercy, God loves, God mercy, God loves God. No, you stupid moron, it's time. Uh, what are you going to leave for children's children? What are you going to leave for future generations? What are you going to leave for the future generations? Little children's children's children. You're supposed to leave a godly inheritance. So get this land cleaned up and, and, and safe and prosperous again. Make America great again. And um, what are you going to leave for your children and children's children? A third world country? You want them to grow up in a third world country like Yemen or Venezuela? You stupid idiots. Damn you. You stupid fools. You fools. You stupid incompetent idiot leaders. Blind guides and Pharisee idiots, children of hell, fake pastors, fake prophets, fake leaders, damn you in the name of Jesus Christ. Be replaced with good people that are uh, shepherds after God's own heart. Like David, he killed the lion, he killed the bear, he killed the wolf to save the sheep. And I tell you what, you better learn to fight. You call yourself a pastor, a prophet, a leader, pastor, teacher, evangelist, whatever, and you're not a warrior and you don't speak the judgments and death and destruction and God killeth. You don't speak it on evil people 
that are um, doing abortion and, and, and wicked abominations and Sodom and Gomorrah wickedness, you're unfit. God will replace you more and more and more. God replacing you, you, you either deceived or incompetent or not even, you know, called. You just got put in there by your de abomination denomination or you just what, whatever. And God didn't call you and train you and put you in there. You didn't have your training like a pilot has, like a law enforcement, like a military. Like you're going to drive a big old cargo ship. You're going to drive a, an aircraft carrier. You're going to fly a big old uh, uh, fighter jet or commercial airline and you're not trained. God rebuke you, you stupid jackasses. Devils from hell, fake pastors, fake prophets, fake evangelists, pastor, teacher, whatever. God rebuke your damn carcass. Get out of here. You're unfit, you're incompetent, sick fools, like Jesus told the Pharisees and Sadducees on blind fools, woe unto you. God's going to raise up shepherds after his own heart. Jeremiah 23, Ezekiel 34, that will, that will fight and war and protect the sheep. And leave a godly nation for children, children, children. A good man or woman leaves a godly inheritance for children, 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 children. If you don't do it, you're not good. It's just time to speak. God killeth. Destruction, judgment, de whatever. However, God, so, some need to hit the dirt. God tearing pieces, none to deliver. God killeth. God will judge. You wait till he wakes up and he wets his sword and he pulls his arrows. And that rod of iron and that sword coming out of his mouth. What do you think Jesus is? Jesus is a little old hippie devil. Fake, uh, Second Corinthians 11, another Jesus, another gospel, another spirit, you idiots, religious, wimpy fools. God is a warrior. He never changes the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. He never changes. And uh, there for a while, Jesus is showing, okay, you forgive these and turn the cheek, but not always. But not always. You always live that Old Testament, Old Covenant. You always live it. And on top of that, you add forgive and turn the cheek and this and that and the other but you never just let things go lawless and and oh i, I turn the cheek i love you i love you as everything hell is just running over you like a doormat and taking over the hellish people are taking over government and, and authority positions and and and, and also for now they're getting in the church and they're all stupid damn you in the name of jesus christ crazy stupid people stupid leaders doctrines of demons deceptions you bunch of sissies you get in there and you fight, you speak. Repent or, 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 or leave. Repent or be removed. Repent or God killeth. The angel of the Lord strike you down. It's time to clean up, expose, tear down them demonic walls that's being shown in the natural. In the natural in D.C., they're showing in the natural these walls because there's demonic walls protecting this wickedness and so forth. Tear it down. Learn how to do this stuff. If you don't know in America and so forth, go and watch it. Good, real Christians over there in Africa. Get online and watch them and learn for the real deal from some of the Christians over there in Africa. There's some real ones over there and uh, I've seen in Asia too that know how to fight, know how to war and, and, and live and speak and walk in the authority of Jesus Christ, the warrior, the Lord of hosts, the mighty God, Lord of battle, the Lord of armies and weaponry, the God of weapons of war. Jesus has a sword. He has arrows, weapons of death, instruments of death, it says. God killeth and maketh alive. Behold the goodness and the severity and the severity and the severity and the severity of God. And that's it. You better wake up and learn this stuff. No, you're going to be replaced. If you want to be religious, hippie, idiot, fool, you will be replaced. And you're going to go to hell for your rebellion and your fear and your selfishness and idolatry. You fake leaders especially, but even you fake sissy Christians that are not warriors. There's just things all about war. So it's, like, it's love, it's love, it's just love. Oh, you bunch of, bunch, you're still, still whacked out from your LSD and your stinking drug and al alcohol and fornication and your, your soul is warped with pornography and you love the world. You make a friend of the, uh, you want to be a friend of the world, you make yourself an enemy of God. You bunch of freaky, leavened, warped devils, seared conscience. You don't even know God. You don't know God at all. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. You shall be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Give no place to the devil. Awake to righteousness and do not sin. For some do not have the knowledge of God. Bunch of idiots. You live in holiness and clean and you hate the world. And that means hating evil people too. People said, God hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. You bunch of devils. You know what? Jesus, Jesus told one of his own team, one of his people. He didn't say you have a devil, Judas. He said you are a devil. You have gone so far. Disobeying your conscience, disobeying the Holy Ghost, disobeying the Word of God, disobeying the teaching and all that. You've gone so far that you've become a devil. There's a 
Greek word that means that you entered the devil. The devil didn't enter you like some oppression, possession, but actually the person actually lives in a demon. Kind of like those transformer suits or something or them, you know, them old Japanese cartoons where they put on this suit of armor and it's like they live in a demon. And some of, and Jesus told her, you are a devil. One of you is a devil, not has a devil, is a devil. And some of you are like that. And some of you have gone too far. You're, 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 Jesus has given you over to destruction, Romans 9, Romans 11. He's given you over to be a vessel of wrath. He's given you over to reprobate mine and destruction. And there's no, he's blotted your name out of the book. You, your name can be blotted out of the book of life. You can go to hell. Say, I believe in Jesus. I accept Jesus. That's not enough. That just means you started. You didn't finish the race. You didn't finish the journey. If you endure to the end, you shall be saved. If you overcome, you shall be saved. It ain't just coming up there. It's nice that you, you know, come to the altar or do it. I, 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 you know, whatever. Okay, I believe in Jesus. That, that's the start. You're born, but you didn't grow up and learn and, and discipline your life and grow up and be, be mature and accurate and wise and learn and obey and be a good and faithful, faithful and true witness, all that. If you don't, like all this damnable cessationist fake doctrines of devils from Baptists and typical... Uh, evangelicals and Protestant evangelicals and f Southern bastards and uh, abomination and all this stuff is Baptist and all this. They don't tell you to get filled with the Holy Ghost, as the Bible says. They don't tell you to grow and learn and overcome sin and discipline yourself and get delivered, inner healing and deliverance. They don't teach that. So that's why people are so, and that's why the, our nation's messed up. And that's why the world's messed up. These doctrines of demons. All you got to do, read the Bible and obey it. If you're not a doer of the word, you deceive yourself. Anyway, we'll get more on this. Those walls in D.C. in the natural are showing the walls in the spirit world put up by hell, guarded and protected by hell. Those soldiers are, are in the natural, but behind it in the spirit world, there's demons guarding these different walls and structures that are protecting the Democrats because they're some of them are so demon-possessed by principalities and powers and highest-ranking demon, um, ranking demons in the in the in the in, in hell. Um, obviously Pelosi and some of the ones are, are, you know, possessed by high ranking demons as is leaders in other nations and pagan nations and so forth. And, uh, anyway, God rebuke you. Get out of here. When Herod was dead, when Herod was dead, Jesus comes in more. Uh, and then the other Herod wants to kill, uh, he's killing people. He's killing Christians. He wants to kill Peter. Boom. The angel strikes him. The worms eat him. And that's what's coming. God killeth. You can't hinder the, the plan of God, the purpose of God. You Don't you hurt the body of Christ. Don't you hurt God's children. Touch not God's anointed and do his prophets no harm. Do his bride no harm. Do his children no harm. God will kill you and throw you in hell forever. Jesus said, fear the Father in heaven that will kill you and throw you in hell. That's it. Fear him. Oh, it's the reverential. Shut up, you get out of here. Well, I'll tell you what. Tear down the walls in the spirit world over there in D.C. So everything gets exposed and dealt with, prosecuted. Some, it just, just the, the, boom, the law of God. And then the, 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 the law of, of America is enforced and, and, and cleans it up. Time to clean house. We get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right, help us out. This is great teaching, revelation knowledge. If this is the best prophetic word you've heard in a long, long time. I'm not some fool out there just mimicking everybody else like a religious parrot. I'm telling you the real thing straight from God. So help us out. Calledbeyond.com. Calledbeyond.com. Help us out. Become a partner. Send tithe and offering. Help us do more to save our nation. Hello. What are you leaving for your children and children? Children, what's wrong with you? Wake up and help us out. We got to pay bills just like you. You know, praying and fasting, studying for 30 years give me, out there in the mission field for 18 years, over 30 countries out there learning and give you this great stuff. It's just awesome and true to help you overcome. You help us out. You you go to the dentist, you pay. You go to the lawyer, you pay. You go to the doctor, you pay. You go to the um, music teacher lessons, you pay. You go to a good restaurant, you pay. You're getting good um, truth to help you overcome. Now help us, help us so we can keep doing more and save souls. Calledbeyond.com. Calledbeyond.com, and we'll get you some more.